my friends. How are you tonight? It's your girl, Hungry Mama Me. And so happy to be here. I really am. I look forward to talking to you guys. And all my subscribers, you guys know you're the very, very best. And even my new subscribers that I haven't really gotten to know yet. Thank you so much for coming my way. And also, anybody just passing by that wants to stop and see what the channel's about, I'm here. And I'm so, so glad that you are. Anyway, tonight, we have a meet the ball set. I meet the boss up with, you know the kind of meatballs I have here, my friends. These are Gardein, and I just think they're the best. They're so, so good. I did get another um, package of meatballs from my organic store, and I don't even recall the name of them. They had them in the organic store one time. And they were excellent. They were smaller. They were like cocktail meatballs, but they were really good. They were really awesome. And I have some uh, chow cheese, some of the creamy original. We also have some fries going on here. Go on, have one. You know the deal. The rest is for me, my friends. Mm -hmm. Let's get started because there's nothing worse than cold fries. I don't know about you, but I don't like cold fries. No, no, no. And this is, um, my ketchup is, is just a brand from the store. 50% less sugar and sodium no artificial sweeteners so that's a good thing this is the kind my boy wanted junie so i got it for him but mama will use it too yes she will and i don't know if you've ever seen these kind of rolls before Maybe it looks familiar to you somewhat, but only New, Ju New, Duty. <laughs> only New Jersey has these kind of rolls. And they say, ketchup sucks a little. Yeah. I usually use malt vinegar. I don't know why I didn't tonight. Yeah, it just changed it off. Um, they say the only reason that we can make these kind of rolls is because of our, our water. And this is what we eat our subs on when we have a, like a submarine sandwich. We don't call them submarines, we call them subs, straight up subs. A regular sub, an Italian sub, cheesesteak sub. Yum. But the ketchup is a little off. Hey, look who's here. You know who it is. It's Miss Cholula, who likes to do the barracuda. Miss Cholula is almost finished. Yes, she is. I had um, Allison, or Allie, better known. Um, she was telling me to try the, uh, the one with lime in it, and I cannot find that here in this area for the life of me. Nowhere's around. So 
I bought a new one today, which was um, I think it was called roasted garlic. Cholula with roasted garlic. I was so up in the air because they also had sriracha. I love that. But the garlic one. Let me see. I'm getting a really funky taste. Yeah. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta change this up a little because I don't like that. Okay, my friends, I'm back. And I decided to go for the malt vinegar. I never normally use ketchup. I don't know. I was just kind of in the mood for it. But after that taste, I said, nope, don't think so. So I'll use my malt vinegar, which is absolutely delicious. Yes. Very tasty. So yeah. Couldn't find the kind of Miss Cholula that I was looking for, but it's okay. What are you gonna do? You deal with what you got, right? So. I was going to have, <laughs> remember yesterday when I went to Whole Foods, I bought the Beyond Beef Burgers And I was going to have it tonight. But I don't know. I'm a little leery. And you know, I had somebody once say to me, because I didn't want to eat the donuts, I bought donuts, they said to me, go eat vegetables, bitch. Well, that wasn't very nice. And, let me explain something to you. And for anybody that has stopped eating meat, they understand what I mean, I think, and then has went back to, to meat or tried to go back. It's very hard. Reason being, you lose the taste for that meat, for that kind of taste. Maybe if you were a huge meat eater before you went vegan, it might be easier for you to go back and eat meat. But for me, and I know I don't have a, everybody here that's vegan, I have a lot of people that eat meat, of course. My children eat it. My baby Nino eats it. I cook it for them.
Yes, that's what I said. I cook it for them. Because that's what my children eat. And as a mother, I give them what they eat. But anyway, I watched reviews on this Beyond Beef Burger. And I got reviews like It's pink in the middle, even after you cook it, you can't get rid of that look. Some people said it really, really smelled bad. Why do I want to eat that? I don't know. I think curiosity um, when you don't eat meat sometimes because you've ate it all your life you're looking you're searching for something that resembles it somewhat without it really being meat. But not to the point where it really seems like meat. I don't know if we're looking for the texture. I know when I eat a hamburger or some kind of burger, whether it be a bean burger, whether it be a veggie burger, I'm looking for firmness in my burger. You can't find that in a veggie burger, in a back black bean burger. You can't. So that's all I'm looking for, the firmness, the texture, and then of course the taste. Without it really being meat. So if you understand what I'm saying guys, comment, let me know. that you understand where I'm coming from. Also, I don't think I ever had a meatball sub since I was vegan. No, why do I say vegan? I'm not vegan. I was so used to saying it, I guess, for so long, since I stopped eating meat. How's that, my friends? That sounds better. And it's good. Yeah, it really is. Nothing is really real here. It's um, sort of a <clears throat> mirage of a meatball sub with cheese, but it's a good imitation. See, when I eat this meatball, it's 
It's got good texture. It's not soggy. It has nice taste. A lot of times I'll take these meatballs and I'll fry them first. to give them more of a crispy taste. And that works out well. So if I get to the point where I decide I'm gonna go ahead and eat that burger, we'll give it a try. but not until I feel I'm ready, my friends. Like it's a big deal, right? <laughs> anyway, me, my daughter, Bella, Nino, took a ride yesterday and we went to Whole Foods which we had a blast, it was fun. We were in quite a hurry, of course. But, I think at first I wasn't too impressed But the more I think about it, I really liked it. I like to eat all my food with no preservatives. I really try. <clears throat> and One of my main reasons, of course, you want to eat healthy, but I have suffered from severe, not just migraines, severe. So, I have learned all my life to be very careful <clears throat> with what I eat, you know, unless I can get a really nice lunch meat when I was eating meat, like um, boar's head, if you've ever heard of that, black bear. They don't put a lot of crap in their in their meats and cheeses and stuff. So I could eat that. But I mean, even back when I ate meat, I might put a slice of very thin slice. of turkey and a piece of cheese. Never, <clears throat> never did I overload it and I didn't like it. So, for those reasons, I thought whole food was awesome. If I had one closer to me, yeah, I would shop there quite often. But I would also be very careful with what I bought. <clears throat> 
because they're expensive. So, good and bad. Did you hear Amazon bought Whole Foods? I did. Um, I heard they were changing it all around. They were making it really easy when you check out. I, I don't know what yet exactly. And they were going to drop the prices some. And hopefully put them around more places. Which would be great. Now my daughter really liked Allie. No. <gasps> Allie's? No. All these? All these. Yeah. So, maybe we'll go back there next week. I said the same thing, you know? Like my aunt eats a lot of cookies. She loves cookies. Hey, she's 90 years old. She's been doing it all her life. She's a skinny little lady. Let her eat what she wants, right? But the cookies there were, my goodness, I bought like chocolate chip cookies. Packages of chocolate chip cookies and I do believe those ones were 99 cents. If I'm correct. If not, it was very close to that price. Now, in the regular grocery stores, when I buy her chocolate chip cookies, I usually easy pay three dollars a pack. So, I figured I'll load up on her cookies and my daughter's girls. They take lunch to school. So it'll be much cheaper to get their snacks there and you know different things like that so now all these was only a half an hour that was a piece of cake ride Yesterday when we went down to Whole Foods, I said, let's go to Krispy Kreme after we go to the store. Now, chain chain friends. Me and my boy Junie have been wanting to do that for a long time. Over a year. Um, so I had to make sure when I was in that area yesterday, I brought the kid back Krispy Kremes. 
So, okay, we did that last. <clears throat> Don't you know, we couldn't get the GPS working. It wouldn't pick up Wi-Fi. And we were using the phone GPS. And it was like almost right in the heart of Cherry Hill, but in a residential area. And it wouldn't pick it up. So I said, let me just drive a little bit and see, you know, if it'll pick up. So we drove about 10 miles out of the way, finally got it to pick up. Told us to go one way, we go that way. There's all construction and being detoured. So that turned into a, a bit of a disaster <laughs> and I had my time very limited. to when I was gonna make it home for my aunt, you know? So, but anyway, it all worked out. I was a little bit late, yes, but we jumped on the expressway, hit a ton of traffic. <laughs> But we got home. So that was the most important thing, correct? And you know I am stuffed. But it is good. Yes. Mmm. I don't know what I'm gonna do with that little Nino. Every time I'm with him, oh my goodness. He wants to go with me. I guess because I spoil him and I don't mean to spoil him. I true, truly, truly don't, my my friends, but I've never been hard, you know. I'm pretty much, if he wants it and I can give it, I give it. And my daughter gets upset, yeah, because she says, Ma, you make it hard on me. I'm not trying to. Says you got to be a little harder. It's not in my bones. It's not in my DNA. So what do you do? Mm. One minute. All right, my friends. We've come to the end of another mukbang. Thank you so much for stopping in. Please subscribe, like, comment, and don't forget that bell right there. Give it a little ring-a-ding-ding and become a part of our notification family. Also, in my description box right there, you'll find my Instagram, my Twitter, my P.O. box, and my home page. Write me a line. Love to hear from you. Also, Bella and Nino's link is there to their channel. So until tomorrow, my friends, lots of love coming your way, and I'll be seeing you. Toodles.